Let's take a trip down the yellow brick road and learn some facts about the Wizard of Oz. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I got something different than opening packages this time. I'm going to give you 37 facts about the Wizard of Oz. Some I didn't even know and I've been studying for over 20 years. So I'm going to tell you what I, I found out. So let's, let's get started. Number one is, I found out, that, I didn't even know this, that right after the movie was produced, Annie M, that played Dorothy's grandmother, committed suicide. Like, I didn't even know that. The movie cost $2.3 million to make, which is $50 million today for inflation. There was actually three pairs of ruby slippers made for the movie. There was, there was one in the Smithsonian in Washington. Was, I haven't got to see that, but plan on to one day. But um, the movie didn't even profit when it first came out. It took it 20 years to make a profit off of this movie, which is it's hard to believe considering how popular the movie is. There was 124 munchkins for this movie. I didn't even know that there was that many. But you watch the movie, you can tell there was a lot, but I didn't think it was that many. Out of all the munchkins, there was only two munchkins that had speaking parts. The rest was voiceovers. Which everybody, know, most people know the movie was made in 1939. It, most people don't know it had five directors, but Victor Fleming got credit for the actual movie. But um, Dorothy also, reason why her figure was so tight, she had to wear a corset to fit in this desk to make her look younger. Wizard of Oz wasn't broadcast on TV till 1956. But, um, Margaret Hamilton, which played the Wicked Witch, got second degree burns on her hands and her face from the part in the Munchkin Land where she falls through the trap door and the flame comes up. And she got badly burned. She spent two weeks in the hospital recovering. And her stunt double also got burned, so they had to change everything. And then she was scared to do it the second time. Um, Margaret Hamilton also had to eat from a stove during filming because of the green paint on her face. Couldn't imagine eating like that. The song, um, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, was almost cut from the original. The director had to talk him into fitting it into the movie. But there was only um, a handful of people that got to see The Wizard of Oz when it was, after it was made, unedited version, which that'd be awesome to see Younger. I wish I got to see that today. Everybody talks about the part where Dorothy meets the Tin Man and they're leaving the forest to go toward the Emerald City. Then they talk about the munchkin hanging in the background. It's not a munchkin hanging. It's the bird spreading its wings. And if you look at the 1988 version, I think, 80s version, the unedited version, it shows you in that movie what it looks like. And if you look at the Blu-ray today, you can see it's the same. There's no munchkin hanging. So that's just a big myth. But um, the Wicked Witch scenes were almost all cut out because it, it was deemed too scary for children, which is crazy nowadays. But um, Glenda, which was 
played by Billy Burke. She was 54 when the filming started. She didn't look that old. But um, Dorothy was also 16 when the movie was being filmed. I didn't know that. I thought, I thought she was way older than that. Buddy Epson got the original casting for the Tin Man, but um, they, he was replaced by Jack Haley because Buddy Epson swallowed some of the silver dust and it caused him to be hospitalized. So they replaced him with Jack Haley, which we know Tim Man today. But um, Jack Haley, from the paste that they made, he got a real bad eye infection from it. But um, Ray Bolger um, auditioned for the Tim Man, but he was turned down if they wanted him to play the Scarecrow because of his dancing and acting skills. They thought he'd be a better fit for the Scarecrow role. But um, in the part of the movie where the snow falls and wakes Dorothy up, that's actually Asbestos, which is, we, most people nowadays know that's deadly, so they weren't aware of the effects of Asbestos back then. But um, most people don't know that Dorothy's original dress was pink. They had to change it to blue because of the Technicolor. So they thought it wouldn't look good in the film, so they changed it to the blue and white outfit that we all know from the movie. But um, Shirley Temple was also casted to play Dorothy but she couldn't get the part because she was already signed with a different agent and movie. So they casted Judy Garland instead. The ruby slippers, which most people don't know, were actually silver. They were sewn on red sequins because the technical, they thought silver wouldn't look too good in the film, so they changed the ruby slippers to the red sequins. But the ruby, if you want to see the ruby slippers they're in the Smithsonian, they're worth about $3 million today. That's what I heard them go for, which I would love to see this one day. But um, do you remember where a 10 men sitting in the forest and they used the metal can to oil him up? That was actually chocolate syrup that they used in that movie to, to oil him up, which I didn't know that. But um, Toto got paid $125 weekly, which was more than the Munchkins were getting paid. I think the Munchkins were getting paid like $50 a week. That's crazy. Frank Morgan, which played Professor Marvel, and Oz the Great and Powerful. But um, Judy Garland, they had to change her look because she looked too Barbie dollish, so they had to change, they wanted her to look younger. But um, most people don't know the, the temperature on sets because of all the Technicolor and the lights shining down on set. It got to be over 100 degrees every day on set. Couldn't imagine working and that was a heavy costumes like the lion and some of the munchkins had to wear. But um, the, the horse of a different color in the Emerald City, to change this color, they used jello which I didn't know this, to change its color. That's, that's crazy. That, that's a good idea. 
but I met Judy Garland's daughter, Liza Minnelli, married Jack Haley's son, which I didn't know this either. So it's just a weird fun fact for you. But most people don't know that when the movie was produced, when it came out of the box office, it was considered a flop. So like we said, it didn't make money till 20 years later. But uh, my last fact I have for you is the movie scored two Oscars when it came out, Best Original Score and a Best Original Song. So that's the fun facts I have for you. I'll try to put some of them on the screen in case you missed any. But um, thank you for watching, and I appreciate everybody that watches my videos. I'll see you next week. Hopefully I'll be opening some more packages because I know most of my friends and people like watching me open them. So I got a lot more Oz goodies coming. But I'll see you next week. Thank you. Thanks for coming, everybody. I hope you enjoyed our interesting facts.